Hi, I just want to give you some clarifying information on how your terrarium assignment is going to go. So you have two different files. You have the what is an ecosystem file that is one that you can just view. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually hit the alt button in a bracket and make it half of my screen. And then the other screen that you have is this one here. And that's the create a terrarium one. And that's one that you have editing rights to. So I'm going to hit the alt button again and the bracket button, and it will also make it half the screen. So I'm just going to move that one over here. And that way I have access to both the things nice and easy in front of me. So for your assignment, you're going to have access to these six animals, uh, the poison dart frog, a chameleon, an alligator, a river otter, and a fennec fox. And you're going to have this pretend pet inside this terrarium that you you are creating and the goal is to take biotic and abiotic factors and meet the needs of your new pet so the first thing you're going to need to do is find out about your pet so you'll go on to this slide right here and each one of these words has a link that goes to a website that will tell you about the environment that they live in the ecosystem that they live in, I should say. And it will also tell you about what their diet consists of because you need to make sure that they can eat. So you're going to have those two pieces of information in that animal habitat link. So I don't want to use any of them because I don't want to give you answers. So Mrs. Bracken is going to have a baby elephant as her new pet in her terrarium. This is a very spacious terrarium, of course. So I read up about African elephants, and I know this one's an African one because it has super big ears. The ones with tiny ears are the Indian elephants. Um, and I think I'm going to make the inside of the terrarium for mine look kind of like a watering hole in the African savanna. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this page right here that has things that are water related. Well, I want literally just water. So I'm going to take this picture and hit Control C to copy it. And then over here in my terrarium, I'm going to hit control V and it's going to give me this chunk of water here. I'm going to put that right up to the edge because I want it right at the front of my tank. Okay. Now there's going to be sand in the area. So I'm going to go back here and look at some of my rock and soil options. And there is some sand right here. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste, oh, paste it in the wrong spot. There we go. I'm going to paste it over here. Okay. So put my water back down and I'm going to take my sand here. Now I want my sand to go the whole length of the tank, but I want to be able to see the water in front of it. So if I right click on my sand and go to order, I can send this backward behind the water. Now it looks a little weird having round water. So I'm going to go in here and there's lots of tall grasses in the savanna. So I'm going to pick one of the tall grasses and hit control C there to copy it and then come over to my tank and hit control V and that will paste it. That is very tall. So I'm going to make it much smaller. I'm going to have it so it covers up a little bit of the stuff here, right? And we'll make another one. I'll put that one over here. And how about another one? So I'm just going to put some grasses around because there are tall grasses where this African elephant would live. And it's one of the things that they would eat. Now, elephants are big. They require a lot of food. And so they can't just survive off of just some of the grasses here. So they actually eat leaves off of trees. So I'm going to go on to my more plant options. I feel like this tree looks like it would go in the African savanna. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to paste it and put my tree in right here. Okay. So you can grab as many things as you want to add it in and make it a nice homey place. Whenever you think you're all done, go over and you can grab your organism. Yours will not be an elephant. Remember, that will not be one of the options for you. Um, I'm going to take my little guy here, though. 
remember it's a very spacious terrarium that I can fit my my elephant in. And I'm going to put, I think maybe he needs to be a little bit smaller because the tree. Let's see. If you don't like when something happens, just hit control Z and it will undo whatever the last thing you did was, which will make things easier. All right, so we're going to put that in there. Um, just to show you some of the other options that you have besides the water and the plants. Some of the organisms that you have eat other animals that are smaller than them. And so you have some food options here that I've placed for you. But also just you want some decorative mushrooms or, you know what, here, let's put a log over in ours. I'm going to copy this log. We'll go over here and paste it. Make it a lot smaller. We'll have that sitting over here by the water. Um, you have some other options for things that you're going to do. Now, although it is nice to have an aesthetically pleasing terrarium, you want it to also be for a reason that you're putting these things in here. So after you've created your terrarium, you're going to go on to the second slide right here and list five of the things that you put in there and put down what need for life that it is filling for your organism. Um, so as you're putting the things in, be thoughtful of the kind of environment that your animal lives in, the things that your animal eats, and then make sure that there's at least five of them that you can put a reason for why you put it in there. Okay. I'm not expecting you to know the exact names of some of these things. So you can put things like flower or tree and we will be able to reference it on your picture. I don't expect you to know what kind of tall grass this is. You can just put down tall grass. Um, but you're going to make something that fits the needs in this little mini ecosystem of a terrarium for your new pet. I hope you have fun with this activity and I enjoy looking at what it is that you make. Have a good day.